Hello, I'm Brian K. Smith, the Human Potential Specialist. I'm here today with another May I Help You moment. In today's May I Help You moment, I want to examine two counter viewpoints. One viewpoint being that of the victim and the other being that of a participant. Here's how it goes. I was in a restaurant a couple of days ago when I heard several of the employees sitting around talking about their situation. Now these two employees, they weren't paying much attention to me as a customer and they were actually standing around when there was a decent crowd in the restaurant and they should have been doing more work. But this is the sort of the conversation they were having. One worker was telling the other how they were tired of the manager not wanting to promote them and always making them work the late shift. The other worker was saying how he was also dissatisfied and just felt like he could do nothing else to improve himself. Now, at first glance, I really wasn't trying to pay much attention to them, but they drugged this conversation on and on and on. So it, I, I really didn't have much of a choice but to listen to it and hear it because of the way that they were talking. It's not like they were whispering. They were having this conversation very loud. And again, they weren't doing any work. And because there were so many people in the restaurant, it was just noticeable that uh, a lot of things weren't taking place. They actually could have done a lot to help alleviate the line in the restaurant, but they were too busy complaining to do anything. And so it gave me some inspiration. I thought, wow, here these two guys are sitting around and they're complaining about their situation. They're employed, first off, in a, at a time in our country's history where a lot of people don't have jobs. So, but that's another discussion. Today's May I Help You moment deals with this victim versus participant mentality. They were saying that they're victims, that the manager is, is just uh, out to get them, that the manager has no sense of uh, obligation to promote them. Well, the manager doesn't. Your job as an employee is to put yourself in such a position that the manager doesn't have any other choice but to promote you, but to treat you fairly, but to show you the respect that you show him, the customers, and the business by coming in there and doing great work and providing great service. Here's the problem. They decided right then that they were victims, when the reality is they were actually active participants in their own demise. Had they came in to work and then doing the type of work that the manager would recognize, I am certain that they would have a different outlook and have a different experience. But because they decided, hey, I can't do much in this job, the manager doesn't like me, they're never going to give me the hours, I'm never going to be promoted, it became a self-fulfilling prophecy. They decided to act that way and so, subsequently, they were rewarded that way. They were treated like two employees who didn't want to be there. They were treated like two employees who only needed to work the late shift because they weren't deserving of better hours and early hours. Matter of fact, truth be told, as I watched those two people work the rest of the shift, I would have fired them. So you need to keep that in mind. Decide today, are you going to be a victim or are you an active participant? See, I have sympathy for victims. Victims don't have any control. If someone breaks in your house and steals your stuff, because you locked the door and turned your burglar alarm on and still they found a way to get in, you're a victim. But if you walked out of your house, left your door wide open and somebody walked in and took your stuff, you were an active participation, an active participant in that theft. And so I have less sympathy for you. Your things were still taken from you, but you played a role that helped. These two workers, had they come in perhaps on time, had they been doing more work, had they dressed a certain way? And when, I've already talked about image. But here's something. Are you displaying to the people who have a say-so in your life and your future the things that you want out of life and out of your future? Decide today that you're going to be an active participant in your own promotion, not your own demise. I'm Brian K. Smith. This has been another May I Help You moment. And remember, master and nurture your unlimited potential. Have a good day.